Hey guys, it's Chandra Jesse on Motherless But God. Here we talk about my experiences with being motherless for 20 years. Hey guys, so we are back with episode eight. And today I just want to say thank you for tuning in and watching. I have been in my head a little bit about the likes and the views and just wondering like, what am I doing? Are the people watching? Is this helping anyone? But when I go out in public, it never fails. Somebody walks up to me and they say, hey, you're helping me and you don't even know it. I love your motherless content. Or Correa be out with her dad and she'll come home and say, mama, somebody walked up to me and daddy and said they watch your videos and they love them. And so I have to understand that when you are walking in obedience with God, it does not look the way that you want it to look. 90% of the things in my life has not looked the way that I expected it to. But I'm here. I'm doing well. God is good. But sharing these experiences aren't easy, especially if you feel like people are just watching. It ain't really like getting to the people who need it. But I can't even worry about that. And that's something that I'm still struggling with. So I definitely wanted to share that with you guys. But I'm going to continue to be in obedience to God because he asked me to do this. I committed and said yes, and I'm just going to remain doing what God has asked me to do because I wouldn't want my life any other way. Now that I have gotten all of that out, let's get into episode eight. Um, I want to talk about the question, will it get easier? And honestly, that depends on your spiritual walk with God. A lot of people say it doesn't get easier. You learn to deal with it. I've heard people say that, yeah, it becomes easier. For me, it's a day-to-day -day journey. And I will never say easy in any sentence after losing a mother. In the beginning stages, there is nothing that seems easy without your mom. You will literally break down for anything to the from the smallest to the biggest circumstance that's going on. You will break down because if you were anything like me, you called your mother for everything, even the things that they didn't even know. You still wanted to inform them and to get whatever advice that they could give you. So. <laughs> Trust me, there was a, you know, I think about that all the time. I'm like, you know, a lot of times when I want to call my mom and say, what should I do? She wouldn't even be able to help me. You know what she would say? Probably do whatever you think is best and allow God to lead you. And you'll make the right decision. But it's just those words from your mother still, regardless if she answers the question or not or helps you or not. It's just her presence. Like a mother is everything to a son or a daughter's life. So easy, I couldn't even put in the same sentence after the death of a mother. You will learn how to continue to press forward. It's going to take time, but every day that God allows you to open those eyes, it makes you understand and realize that God still has more for you to do. So losing the mother is hard. Like I was in my car the other day and I can't remember exactly what the moment was. It was, yes, it was something that she used to say to me that I used to think was in the Bible. And I was like, that is not in the Bible. And I was like, I wish that we could have adult conversations where I could be like, girl, now let me tell you about the God that I know. And um, just to see what her reaction would be or what she would say, um, because I just feel like I have unlearned <laughs> a lot of things on this journey that I do wish that I could share with her sometimes and give her a better understanding. Um Easy? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. You answer, you tell me if you think that your journey without your mom has become easier. I think that my spiritual walk has definitely grown, which has allowed me to be able to handle different circumstances that used to make me break down. 
Like if I'm going through something with the children, I used to would just sit in the bed and cry because I'd be like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like you left me here to be a mama and I don't even know how to do this. Like she wasn't supposed to raise my kids, but you still want your mother advice. Like, what did you do when I did this to you? Like you want all of those things and you will make it through it just like I did. And you are making it through it now. There are so many things that you could be cooking and you might miss an ingredient that she used to use. And you're like, what ingredients did she used to put in here? And that becomes tough sometimes. Like there are so many triggers to this motherless journey that isn't even funny. So to say easy, I don't know. We just learn that we're more than conquerors. We learn that our strength comes from God. We learn to walk by faith and not by sight. Gosh, there are so many scriptures that I could like tell you about how God has helped me through his word to like push through this motherless journey. But easy, I don't know about that. But God, okay? Anywho. May you be blessed and I will see you all on the next Motherless But God where we are learning to turn our pain into purpose.